avoid shutting a approach to access the problem determine how many devices on the network are experiencing the problem to identify and to know how how it say that how many devices on network are experiencing the trouble or the problem if there is a problem with the one device on the network start the troubleshooting process at that device so it say that if there is or if you see that in one device um there is a problem on that you need to start on that to be sent to the other devices um if there is a problem with all devices on the network start the troubleshooting process at the device where all the other devices are connected so it say that if the devices are in all trouble or it has a all problem on every devices you need to um to start to which the device have a many connection so you should develop a logical and consistent method for diagnosing network problem by eliminating one problem at a time so that's for the troubleshooting approach mm. then by defaulting dual band routers and ap use the same network name on the both 2.4 band and type band the simplest way to segment traffic is to rename one of the wireless network so so it say that the simplest way to segment the default is to or the traffic is to rename one of the wireless network with a separate descriptive name it is easier to connect to the right network so it is the best way is to do the separate descriptive name to easier to connect to the right network so to improve the range of a wireless network um ensure the wireless router of or ap location is free of obstruction such as furniture fixture and tall the signal which shortens the range of the wlan if this still does not solve the problem then a wifi range extender or deploying the power line wireless technology may be used so most wireless router and ap offer upgradable firmware firmware um firmware release may contain um fix fixes for common problem reported by customers as well as security vulnerabilities um you should um periodically check the router or ap for upgraded um firmware in the figure the network administrator Tor is verifying that the firm firmware is up to date on a Cisco Meraki AP. So this is that's all for the chapter 13 for the summary of it. So I hope you um have learned or get some idea on this video. I hope you like it and thank you. So hello guys again. This is me, Mary J. Franco from the SIT 2204. So for today's video, I would like to summarize the chapter 13. So let's start. Um, remote workers, small branches, offices, and home network often use a wireless router, which typically includes a switch for weird, weird clients, a port for an internet connection, sometimes. labeled one and wireless components for wireless clients access most wireless router are are pre-configured to be connected to the network and provide services the wireless router uses DHCP to automatically provide addressing information to 
connected um, devices. Um, your first priority should be to change the user name and password of your wireless router for the safety of your um, router or the DHCP and um, this is the one to prioritize first so use your router interface to complete um, basic network and wireless setup if you want to extend the range of of the range beyond approximately 45 meters indoor and 90 meters outdoor so you can add wireless access point and the router will use a process called network addressing translation or NAT to convert private IPv4 addressing to internet routable IB, IB4 addresses by configure QS you can guarantee the certain traffic types such as voice voices and videos are prioritized over traffic that is not as time sensitive such as email and web browsing so lightweight AP or LAPS Use the lightweight access point protocol to communicate with a VLAN controller. So, configuring a wireless LAN controller is similar to configuring a wireless router except that a WLC controls AP and provide more services and manage management capabilities. So use the WLC interface to view an overall picture of the AP system information and performance to access advanced setting and to configure a VLAN. So SNMP is used to monitor the network. Um, so they can say it is the one who monitors the network, the SNMP. The WLC is set to forward all the SNP log messages called chops to the SNP server. For W or VLAN user authentication, ADG server is used for authentication, accounting, and auditing or calls a AAA services. Individual user access can be tracked and audited. So it is can easily to um, check the user when you are having that um, audited. So use the WLC interface to configure SNMP server and reuse server information. So use this to VLAN interfaces, DHCP scope, and a WPA to enterprise the VLAN. So there are six steps to the troubleshooting process. So when troubleshooting is a VLAN, a process of elimination is recommended. So it recommended if the troubleshooting is a VLAN. Common problem are no connectivity and poorly performing wireless connection when the PC is operational. So as usual, um, we can see that it can um, the connection will be poorly or it make it slow if in it's in the operational to optimize and increase the brand or the bandwidth of 802.11 dual band router and AP either upgrade your wireless client or split the traffic. So, most wireless routers and AP offer upgradable film wave or film wave release releases many contains fixes for common problems reported by customers as well as security um, vulnerabilities. So, you should periodically check the router or AP for updated film so 
this is the summary of chapter 13 so i hope you have understand and learn on this video so thank you yes, it's a